Hello everybody and welcome back to Yalan app. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to use the character AI app. So if you're curious on exactly how to use that app and you want to be able to use it effectively, well then this video is going to be perfect for you. So the first step is going to be very simple. You're going to firstly, of course, log in into your character AI app. So go into your character AI app and then log in into your account. If you haven't yet created your account, I would highly suggest for you to actually do so because you will just get like limited amount of chats if you don't have an account on the app itself. So make sure that you create an account because it's going to make that e entire experience on the app itself just much, much better in my opinion at least. So what you're going to do now when you're on the app itself, then what you can do for example is to click on explore in the bottom right corner. So click on explore and what will happen now is that you will be able to explore in here what kind of chats that is currently popular right now. And there is a lot of and they are very... Sometimes they're a bit strange to be honest, but you can like scroll down in here and be able to find the one that you think is the best for you. Like there is AI chats in here that is programmed to be a specific like character basically. That's why it's called character AI. And every specific AI chat in here that you find is going to be specific to what kind of like description and what kind of name it has, just so you know. I hope it makes sense. So for example, in here you can search for whatever you can search for for example, advice. So let's search for advice as an example. And as you can see, relationship advice, life advice and stuff like that. So we can take life adv advice as an example. So as you can see, hey, how's life? What's on your mind? So you can actually message them to, to them and you can actually get help from that AI specifically. Like you can message like, hi, how do I know if I am on the right path? <laughs> Sorry path like this yeah so for example you can ask like this right just as an example and as you can see th they're going to actually answer you and they often answer pretty decent in my opinion so as you can see uh to answer that i feel like you need to know some more about your life yeah exactly it's going to uh, like ask you more question so they can actually give you the best answer so what i found about character ai is that when you talk to a specific ai they tend to ask a lot of questions in the beginning, which can be a bit annoying in my opinion, but they, I guess they ask you all of these questions to be able to give you the absolute best uh, like response back, I guess. So they're going to ask you a bunch of questions in the beginning, which can be annoying and you want to be able to quit. But I would say don't quit, just keep answering. And then uh, like all of a the sudden, they're going to spit out an answer that is specifically tailored to you and what you have actually explained to them before. So I think that in in that way, it's kind of annoying because it asks a lot of questions. But in like on the other hand, I know why it's doing it because it wants to give us the best answer, I guess. So yeah, just so you know, it might ask you a lot of questions, and it doesn't like matter which kind of chat that you actually select. In general, it just ask a bunch of questions like all the time, in my opinion, or sorry, in my experience. <laughs> so yeah, when you're done, you can obviously go back and you can find another uh, chat that you want to be able to actually use. As you can see, there's a lot. You can search for all of them in here. You can click on creators as well. Uh, creators is more like people that are uh, basically that, that are currently on character AI. So they have created an account on character AI and this is their name on the character AI app itself. So if you have somebody that you know, for example, you can search for their creator name in here and you can find them and you can basically yeah, interact with them or follow them basically. Uh, not interact, sorry, but you can follow them basically. You can also search for voices as you can see this is a new update. I haven't checked this one out before actually, but it seems that they have added voices as well that you can try and listen to, I guess, for, for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't really like, I haven't explored this option that much to be honest, but you can explore it as well if that is interesting to you. But one of the coolest thing about character AI, in my opinion, is that you can create your own AI. So like your own personal character, which in my opinion is the best thing about this app because it's like you can create a character about almost, almost anything. So if you're going through, for example, a hard test now in a specific subject, well, then you can actually create a specific character that is like kind of an expert in that specific field that you're currently studying as an example. So we can click on create. And as you can see, create is in the bottom middle. So click on the plus symbol where it says create. You can create a character, a group chat, a persona or a voice. In my opinion, you should create a, create a character for sure. 
So you're going to name your character. And this is the most important, by the way. When you name a character, uh, then automatically AI is going to know exactly what this character is going to be about. So for example, if you're going to name it, um, let's say, oh, actually medicine professional, as an example, this was the uh, top of my, uh, my mind. So medicine profession, oh, sorry, you can actually take uh, medicine professor as an example. And now I'm going to click on next. And as you can see, you're going to now describe what medicine professor looks like if you want to, or you can just regenerate this one if you want. So it's going to automatically regenerate, I guess, a photo of how it, how that like specific character is going to look like. Um, yeah, you can, as you can see, you can choose, for example, this photo right here. It's more that if you're going to actually public publicly uh, post this right here, this character, because you can actually publicly post this character if you want to, they will be able to find it and they will be able to see the photo as well, I guess. So you can also upload your own if you want to, as you can see, it says upload. But now we're going to click on next in the bottom right corner. And as you can see now, how would medicine professor introduce themselves? So for example, hi, how are you? And this is like, you have to write it unfortunately, but this doesn't really make a, like that much difference. You can just write almost whatever you want in here. It, what's they're it's how they're going to greet you and everybody else that want to be able to use your character basically. So the first they're going to write is, hi, how are you? You can also click where it says generate it. For me, as you can see, then it's just going to generate you a random like um, a response to the first thing that they're going to say, basically. So as you can see, greetings, I am Professor Medicine, a renowned expert in the field of medical science. It's a pleasure to make your account acquaintances. And by the way, as you can see, uh, I actually gave the name to this character right here, Medicine Professor, and the AI instantly knows that this uh, like persona is going to be an expert in medicine. So that's the cool thing. So make sure that uh, you actually give the name to your specific character if you're going to create one, which I would suggest that you do because it's one of the coolest features about this uh, like app for sure. So when you're going to create your character, make sure that you actually give it the same name that you want that specific character to be an expert in. And now you're going to click on next in the bottom right corner. And as you can see now, this is visibility. That's what I talked to you before. You can make your character actually public, as you can see. And as you can see, anyone can find and chat with med medicine professor. So anybody can find this specific character right here and chat with them, basically. Uh, or unlisted or private, as you can see. Let's make it public, like, why not? You can also, also select a voice for it. And, uh, like, voice, basically... Um, this is this is super random, but you can give them a voice and you can also actually call your character AI. Uh, sorry, yeah, your character, you can actually call it later on and what kind of voice it's going to have basically. So you can choose that as well and you can actually click on um, create. Now you can also add subtitle, add description, as you can see, add character definition to be able to actually give it more definition on exactly what kind of thing they're going to be expert in. But in my opinion, that is uh, that is not necessary because a lot of the times the AI goes on the name itself. So now we're just going to click on create in the bottom right corner, as you can see. So I'm just going to click on create. Let's see if it's going to be able to create it. And yeah, as you can see, uh, it has actually now created my character. And as you can see, there's a phone symbol in the bottom left corner and you can click on it and you can actually call your character instead. So you can actually talk with them through your microphone like a phone call and it's going to respond uh, back to you with their voice that we choose before. So basically this is exactly how to use the character AI app.